Bluehost and SiteGround are two leaders and fierce competitors in the web hosting industry. So in this video, I'm going to compare the most important aspects when it comes to choosing a web hosting company to help you decide which web host is the right one for you and your website. So I don't want to waste your time in this video. Let's just get straight into it. So first up, pricing. I know for a beginner, this is very important. So let's compare the prices of both SiteGround and Bluehost. Host. So SiteGround's lowest cost plan, which they call Startup, starts at $3.95 a month and increases to $11.95 a month when your initial term expires. Bluehost, on the other hand, their lowest cost plan, Basic, starts at $2.95 a month, $1 cheaper than SiteGround, and increases to $7.99 a month when your initial term expires, which is nearly $4 cheaper than SiteGround. So if you are looking for the best prices, the lowest possible prices, Bluehost definitely wins here. Some of you may also be wondering about the money back guarantee that both of these web hosts have. So SiteGround's money back guarantee is 30 days, but that only applies to shared web hosting, i.e. not for domain names, who is privacy, cloud and dedicated hosting, paid support, or third party services. It is literally only the shared web hosting that you can get refunded. Any extras uh, will not be refunded. So you can have a credit applied to your account or it can be refunded back to your credit card. The choice is yours. Bluehost money back guarantee is also 30 days. And as with SiteGround, it does not apply to any add-on products such as domain names. If you cancel within 30 days, you do receive a full refund. If you cancel after 30 days, you receive a prorated refund for the remainder of your hosting term. So when it comes to this, I think it's a tie between both web hosts. Something important to note also is that you do get a free domain name for a year when you sign up with Bluehost. If you can't decide on a domain name when you sign up for hosting, you get the option of choosing later and you receive a free domain credit. Now, unlike Bluehost, SiteGround does not offer domain names for free for a year. So that will cost you a little extra in your first year. Bluehost is the clear winner when it comes to getting your domain name just because you do get it free for that first year. So let's talk about both web hosts' website building tools. SiteGround works seamlessly with various CMSs like WordPress. However, they also have a free drag and drop site building tool. Since 2015, Weebly has been the application that SiteGround uses for its site builder. With Bluehost, you decide how to build your site. You can choose to utilize the built-in website builder that is also powered by Weebly. You can also easily install WordPress, and there are other options available for you in the Mojo Marketplace as well. And something important to note as well is that both SiteGround and Bluehost are actually recommended by WordPress themselves. As you can see right here on your screen, this is a screenshot from WordPress.org from their actual recommendations. So it is safe to say that they both work perfectly well, but I would like to mention a few things. So when it comes to installing WordPress on SiteGround, you get one click WordPress installation on all plans, meaning you can launch your website in just a single click. Bluehost is very similar as well. You can install WordPress with, again, just a single click and manage all your installations from one place. So you can start building your website immediately with both SiteGround and Bluehost. So it's another tie when it comes to the WordPress functionality. Next up, speed and uptime. Now speed and uptime are the cornerstones of any web host as your website must load fast and always be up or online. Now SiteGround uses SSDs exclusively on all plans. That is solid state drive technology that operates at significantly faster speed than the, the usual hard drives, okay? Bluehost, on the other hand, use HDDs, those hard disk drives on their cheaper plans. For SSDs, you're going to need to pay a higher premium for their WordPress plans and VPS plans. SiteGround wins almost every speed test versus Bluehost because of their solid state drives. So SiteGround is the clear winner when it comes to speed. 
But when it comes to uptime, they're both very comparable. I've honestly never had problems with either. From tests, both SiteGround and Bluehost have an uptime of around 99.99%, with the average downtime of both being only around one hour per year, which is barely noticeable. So again, that is another tie. And now let's talk about something that a lot of beginners actually overlook, and that is security. Whether you have a personal blog, a small business website, or you run an e-commerce site, security should be a major concern. You should only choose a web post that takes security seriously and has the right security measures in place. Now, luckily for you, both Bluehost and SiteGround do take security very seriously, so you can't go wrong with either one, but let's talk about a few of their security features. So something you should always be looking for from a web post are SSL certificates. And for anyone who doesn't know, SSL certificates are like a digital passport, allowing data to be transmitted via a secure network. Now SSL certificates help authenticate and encrypt any data that is transferred through your site to the server and across your networks. Now SiteGround offers three levels of SSL certification. Let's encrypt, okay, that is free with every account. Let's encrypt wildcard, this is also free with every account. And then we have EV SSL, which will cost you for anywhere from $499 per year. Now that's not something you're gonna need to, need to worry about just yet, that is something in the future that you might need. Bluehost provides a free shared SSL that is available to accounts which reside on a shared IP. For standard and pro accounts, there is only one dedicated IP and so only one SSL certificate. For VPS, dedicated, managed, or reseller accounts, you can purchase multiple dedicated IP and SSL certificates. Again, in my opinion, it is another win for SiteGround in this category. Site backups are also very important, but often overlooked. I honestly do them as often as I possibly can. Now, when it comes to this, SiteGround provides free daily backups and restores on all plans. Bluehost, on the other hand, creates daily backups with limitations that are spelled out in their terms of service. I'm not gonna go over all of that. You can read it yourself if you want. The host recommends that all customers create their own backup via an add-on called Site Backup Pro. Customers can also use that tool to restore their website to a backed up version with just one click. But there is a monthly fee for using this tool. So in my opinion, once again, it's another win for SiteGround when it comes to site backups. And finally, customer service and support. So one thing is certain when it comes to web hosting, at some point you will need to get help from support. You want to be able to get the help you need when you need it the most. It is essential to choose a hosting company with strong customer support. But once again, you have nothing to worry about with SiteGround or Bluehost. They both have some of the best support that I've ever come across from any web post. But again, let's talk about them just a little bit. So SiteGround deliberately rosters more staff on per shift than would normally be needed. This is because they want all calls, live chats, and emails to be answered as fast as possible. Advanced priority support is provided on GoGeek plans and higher. Individuals on those plans receive priority support and their service requests are routed to the most experienced team members. SiteGround also has tutorials and webinars as well as a vast knowledge base of useful information on just about every topic you want. Now there are three ways to reach SiteGround's 24-7, 365 days customer service and that is with support tickets, chat and phone. So Bluehost offers free consultation with web experts across a range of subjects like personal websites and blogs, website speed and performance, traffic generation, web security, and of course, general and pre-sales questions. They also offer marketing services focused on web design, content creation, and SEO, including local SEO. They also have a comprehensive knowledge base, relevant articles, and tutorials, and an active members forum. And just like SiteGround, you can reach Bluehost via support tickets, chat, 
and phone. Bluehost offers dedicated phone lines for hosting, sales, traffic generation, and more. But once again, I have found that SiteGround support is a little better in my experience, so they do win this round as well. So overall, I think it's clear that SiteGround is the better web host of the two. They have better features, they're faster nine times out of 10, they have very strong security, and some of the best custom support of any web host. Bluehost also has great features, fast load times, decent security, and great customer support, but not quite as good as SiteGround in my opinion. However, do not forget that Bluehost is the cheaper option, so these results should be expected. Now it's up to you whether or not the small price difference is worth it to you or not. So there you have it. That is my comparison between SiteGround and Bluehost. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do not forget to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this, and please comment down below letting me know your thoughts on these web posts, and if you want to see any videos comparing any other web posts, comment that down below as well. Now, if you are interested in signing up to either Bluehost or SiteGround, I will have some links in the description down below. These links are exclusive links for my viewers only, and they will be updated with the best current prices. If you do decide to use these links, I will earn a small referral fee, but this will be at no extra cost to you whatsoever. So I would be super grateful if you could use those just as a small thank you for the time it took me to make this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.